This Hi, conference Bharat. will now be recorded. Just give me one minute, okay? Hi, Bharat. Uh, before we start with the uh, with success factors, I just wanted to know a few details about yourself. And after that, I'll also introduce about myself. A brief intro about yourself, and that would be great. All right. Uh, hi, Anastupa. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So I am Bharat from Hyderabad. OK. So I, I, I have done my MBA in HR in 2010. OK. Okay. Uh, right, uh, in 2010, I started working as an HR journalist uh, with a few companies. Mm -hmm. And later, I stopped working and I'm into business actually. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, now again, I want to get into the platform of uh, technology and you know, again, restart uh, my uh, uh, restart my job again. Okay. Okay. Great. Great. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. So uh, my name is Anush Thup. I have been associated with IT industry for close to 12 and a half years now. And uh, been associated with uh, cross trainings for SAP and, uh, and other ERP platforms like PeopleSoft, HRMS, uh, Barn okay. and Seabill. Okay. And uh, across modules for SAP, HR, then uh, plant maintenance, uh, success factors, oh. work day. Okay. So this is about myself so let's start with success factors and sap first all right okay so what i'll uh, suggest what what is sap you have any idea about sap no answer no no okay see sap comes under enterprise resource planning all right so what is enterprise enterprise resource planning means enterprise resource planning is the way it is a method all right basically it is a method in which a company uh, working if a company is working suppose for example walmart or maybe okay. any company suppose reliance okay or maybe say tata mm. so this company requires man right then okay, employees yeah. Mm. Then man means the employees, right? Yes, yes. They need an operating software to work on it. Yes. Which means operations or mm. operating procedures. All right. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Now they also need materials. So materials mm. can be in the form of uh, a hardcore material. Suppose if a company is dealing with an organization who is dealing with manufacturing of cars. Mm. So then in that scenario, his material will be leading to cars. All right. Okay. For example, Maruti. All right. If a company supposes it is dealing in now, if it, the company since it is dealing in manufacturing of cars, it must be requiring uh, various other uh, materials for the manufacturing of car like tires or maybe uh, steels or maybe glasses or maybe engine components right so for that they need to require a, a, a software to manage all these things which are managed through erp all right now for example if it is an it company in it company they might also have also have some products right So these products can range from starting from ERP to server maintenance. Mm -hmm. Okay. Please ignore my spellings. I'm writing in uh, writing fast, so it might be so that the spellings are here and there so so this it company might they also need some products to sell in the market right yeah yeah either they might be giving a service okay okay to mm -hmm. another companies mm -hmm. in form of technical 
or support or else they will be having their products all right yes yes which they want to sell now if you take an example for example of ibm all right mm. ibm have ibm has their offices in india yes uh, similarly their headquarters is in us head offices in the us mm. i don't i don't remember the exact place it might be connecticut or it might be near to california anyways okay okay so mm. so similarly ibm have many projects with them it might be a development projects so which in which they might uh, have their own products right so ibm also manufactures they also creates products their products they also create products like softwares if we take that they have an own lotus notes tool to manage all the emails okay to manage all the emails and the messaging plus uh ms word applications which mm -hmm. we are using in microsoft mm -hmm. yes. so with this sim single tool erp we can manage all these operations like man employees operations and operating procedures all right yes. which is why which is why erp is in uh, huge demand uh, everywhere and it will be always be in demand even mm -hmm. if you uh, even if you uh, go back Uh, to 11 and 12 years back when i started mm. my career mm. at that point in time there was no cloud interface available uh, all the yep. sap implementations were done through an on premise system but still erp was in demand now uh, we see that there are 12 years passed i see that 12 years already passed in the industry and there is cloud management software is being coming in the market but still erp is in demand because there is no alternative to it even if there are new companies being launching mm. every day but there is no okay. alternative to erp to manage the business all right now the basics erp has erp helps to integrate all this products in one platform the man materials operating procedures whatever whatever might be the company they might all integrate in one platform mm. commonly used erp tools are tally people soft oracle mm. workday success factors field class hr these are commonly used softwares in india right okay okay tally tally is used for finance people soft is used for hr people is used for hr oracle can be used for technical and uh, hrms and uh, finance both so it has all the major functionality say, similar to sap now high tech is also in demand right now in mm. market so these all are con contenders Uh, they they all work accordingly mm. these so these are like all uh, giving competition to sap these all tools are work mm. day field glass high tech okay. these are all in demand so this is the process which used to be followed earlier where before the erp implementation like suppose mm -hmm. if a customer calls in was to place an order then it then the company checks the inventory then they check to production planning all right now yeah. the purchasing team contacts the raw materials and it was like a haphazard process which used to be followed mm -hmm. and the customer used mm -hmm. to get confused and the mm -hmm. uh, company also used to get confused that which products to order which product company should uh, the customer should order and which product should be created okay so if you see this it was all haphazard purchasing then vendors inventory shop floor production planning mm. then these are the there were always a confusion it been because the vendors were not able to understand 
there was no coordination about the inventory how much is the inventory available purchasing team doesn't know the finance team doesn't know what inventory they need to order then shop floor team doesn't know uh, what what all the necessary equipments they they require mm. on an everyday basis because they mm. were not aware how to check the stocks all right mm. Mm. so now once the erp is integrated they have integration time data become time money resources which has to be managed in a similar way suppose these all integrations earlier becomes a costly affair for this they started with uh, erp implementation right now if you look at the systems which are followed right now we see the companies which are operating nowadays they have local users right they have mobile users they have remote offices all right remote offices in sense uh, suppose nowadays uh, for covid 19 people are working from home right which can be called as co remote offices right now they have partners suppliers and customers mm. so they have webs apps files data centers and they have the customer acquisitions as well customers acquisitions in in a way what all tools they need to manufacture their softwares or maybe technical hardwares right mm -hmm. so these all things are managed with a single erp platform mm -hmm. so well, this is the history of sap it is sap is known as system application products and in data processing which was founded in 1972 and uh, with the by the name of velen ruther of hector all right okay before uh, 1977 system it was known as system analysis product development and uh, in german language it was known as this so which okay. i will not be able to pronounce mm. now they have sap comprises of number of fully integrated modules which covers virtually every aspect of uh, business businesses three systems okay. are real time these are known okay. as r3 Where, mm. why it is known as r3 because it manages the full time the man made and materials now okay now let's come back to success factors so success factors was an american company all right it is an american multinational company mm. headquartered in south south san francisco california providing cloud based softwares for human capital management using the software as a service model see why this is in mm. popular and demand because of one thing that earlier what used to happen is suppose you started a company today you started with a company today for truck manufacturing okay or maybe a it software development company so let's uh, take the it software development because we are working for that now since the inscription in, uh, once you start with the company what what all things you require you required employees All right, you need require operation management. And you also require the HR processes, right? Right. So similarly once you started with uh, this application you are thinking how will i manage all these details right yes, so yes, suppose yes. sorry yes 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 so suppose if you are having a conversation with sap implementation partners
now sap implementation partners are who in india if you look at it they are like accenture uh, ibm tcs or it can be any other it company like deloitte okay now for once you have a discussion with the sap implementation partner you decided that you will go for a sap on premise system now what happens in the on premise system is the first discussion was known as business blueprint okay wherein company you should discuss with the when in your company management team will discuss with the sap implementation partners about the requirement which you are having right now all right and what all points you need to manage your organizations well so once the business blueprint phase is over company has to sit with the it team to manage the data and the backup servers to manage the entire operations okay but these are this is to happen in terms of on premise system now if i show you the on premise system i show you the on premise system this is the on premise system this was the on premise system suppose if you need to go to human resource you need to go to like this human resource personal management then administration recruitment personal data this was the procedure which was followed all right and here if you need to do any configuration you need to go to spro mm. then inside the system you need to find the options and you need to work on it right similarly if you are going with success factors success factors interface look like this okay this is a cloud interface okay it has all the functionalities mm -hmm. suppose you want to go to goal management you want to go mm -hmm. to succession onboarding payroll organization management employee files reporting admin center performance every detail you can access from a single tool from a link and once the link is been given to you you can log in with it with that and you can make the changes make the configuration okay. changes okay right hmm. similarly now the success factors was in headquarters for this, this this company was not an sap company earlier it used to manage an independent company in san francisco california providing hmm. cloud based software for human capital management now mm -hmm. since sap then sap started to wonder that how to manage our cloud based applications so they 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 come in with the tie up with the success factors and in 2001 lars dalgard during the first decade success factors acquired five companies to bolster all right okay and 2012 sap acquired success factors for 3.4 billion and the company became a direct wholly owned subsidiary and was renamed as sap success factors okay so this this company was an independent company earlier now in 2012 mm -hmm. sap owned it okay. at the time the acquisition was seen as a major effort by sap it is not required by us now the capabilities mm -hmm. of sap success factors are let's look at it success factors suit is also known as a bizx suit all right mm -hmm. Why it is known as Bizx suit because it has all the modules concentrated in a similar same term with performance and goals compensation. Suppose 
here we need to go to any details changing any details under time management we can go to manage time of calendars from here directly okay and we can make the required changes all right mm -hmm. now suppose if you want to manage the home page this is the home page right okay suppose you need to manage the pending requests organization chart admin center see so what you can do is you can go to manage admin center and then on the tool search tool search option and come to manage home page similar to facebook i hope you are using facebook also i hope you use facebook right hello 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 Way, this conference uh, are, will now be recorded. We are showing about the uh, managing the home page, right? So if you yes, need yes. to manage this, if you need to manage the home page, you directly come to admin center from here. Yeah. Right. And you can type it here on the tool search as manage home page. Yeah. And you can go to. Let it open up. Then go to directly. Go to the option Add Custom Tile. All right. And from here, you can add the tiles. Suppose you need to add a tile as. Uh, covid 19 work from home all right okay so you can do it from configure that option from here it will give you the options next options and similarly you fill in the simple simple details like the title put in the title as work from home now put in the icon you can put in the icon like activities all right you go to next it is also showing you the options if you see it is giving you the preview here you see that on the right hand side yeah that's yes, what, yes, yes. what will be your tiles look like now if you go yes. uh, go down it is showing you the navigation options whether if you want to put it as a pop over it will go as a pop over if you want to put as an url it will go as a url all right okay now here you need to write in a few basic descriptions why we are put in this style since it is a training tool uh, like we are using it for a demo system we are not mm. putting in so much data it is asking you which place you want to assign it whether you want to put it in my apps user group or you want to put it in some other option now if you click on save 
this option will show you on the home page okay okay see yeah showing yeah. under my apps now if you go to it is, it is having simple simple configuration similarly if you want to do any configurations in sap which is a non premise okay. system hmm suppose i tell you if you want to go to hr hmm. you need to go to personal management first so you'll have to find it out the personal management first here it is uh, you know personal management where it is okay yeah got it yeah here you go to personal management mm -hmm. now you know to go to personal administration okay to make the changes now basic settings now personal data these are the options which are used in hr system in the on premise okay. system it's an sap hr okay. system right okay but if you do this here it is much easier to do suppose if you want to go to mm. recruiting want to recruit personnel you can go to manage recruiting posting you can post the okay. recruitment recruitment needs from here okay so this is easily configurable system whatever you want to do you can do it from here suppose you want to import and export employee data you can go to the option mm. import and export data it gives you the options simple simple configurations are there suppose you want to export data you can export it click on export okay. mm. put in the generic object suppose you want to export employee file mm. Okay, now click on export. Mm. Now here, after that, you need to go to monitor jobs. Now you click on monitor job. Now you see, this is the M MDF export, which is showing here. We can download it. Mm. Okay. So similarly, this is the this is the way it is it works. Now suppose you know that you are working as an uh, HR of any organization, and if you want mm. to, if if you want to manage the approvals which you have which you you are sending it to your boss. Suppose uh, what yes, yes. Uh, how. How the how the process flows works in an IT company is suppose you need to give up, uh, you need to uh, uh, give reimbursements to for leave travel to ten employees right so for that you, oh. you will you will create a data right and you will mm -hmm. you will give approvals you will give approvals to uh, it it will it will be triggered as a workflow and it will that workflow will be triggered to your manager's uh, uh, desk for approvals right once your manager approves that. You you get the authority to get the uh, to give the leave travel reimbursements, right? Yes, yes. Suppose you need to check who is your boss. You can go here. You can go to the organization chart, and you can check who is reporting under you. Right. This is Ananya Singh, which we are whose ID we are using to log in. Mm. Now. If you click on level one up, we see that Charles Brown is his reporting manager, right? Okay, yeah. If you want to click and we want to see the details about other employees also, we can give it. See, mm -hmm. managers list, Teresa marked here, view organization chart. You can also view the organization chart here. Okay. Now, suppose if you want to go to this employee details, you can go click on type in the mark taylor details see it is showing vp human resources 
all the details about mm. phone number, email ID, manager. Now you can also even view his employee details. You can go to there, mm. his employee file. You can visit that employee's employee file page and you can change the details here. Okay. See, his employment is coming up, his personal information is coming up, his biographical mm -hmm. information is coming up, his email mm -hmm. ID, his phone number, all the details you can change and you can manage the configurations entirely from here. Okay. You can change the bank details, you can change the address, all that okay. compensation. His compensation mm -hmm. info, if you want to check, you can check it from here. So this is why this uh, success factors is in demand because it is a tool which has cloud access and uh, it's, it is managed by SAP. The server's management is also done by SAP. Okay. So you don't have to do anything. Once you log in to the, uh, once you are uh, already decided with the SAP implementation partner in your company that you need a success factors as a as a software which for which you will be managing your HR operations inside the organization. Mm -hmm. So they will automatically send you a link. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is the link. Okay. That okay. link you will use with, with a username and password. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you can log in and you can change the details. Suppose you need to change mm -hmm. the manage, you need to change the password also. You can manage. <laughs> You can go to manage passwords, see password and login policy settings. You check that. Yeah, yeah. And you can go it here and you can change the password settings from here. Okay. Reset user password and you can, this instance, suppose you need to, the person you want to change, suppose if you want to search it with uh, the First name, say Taj, showing here. So now you can click on search users. It is showing his usernames, right? Yeah. He wanted one, and you can click on it, and you can reset the password. Okay. And put in the new password. I can use it. Similar to the Facebook application, it is very interesting, and it it keeps keeps you on track. So you mm -hmm. will never never feel bored to work with this application. Okay. <clears throat> Suppose if you go to, if you want to check performance of an employee, you can go to performance screen and you can reset the employee files like form, tiles, employees, step, data, okay. date assigned. All the configurations can be done from here. Okay. You can create the workforce planning all these details are available inside one single instance wherein you can have all the solutions so, all right you need to have a username okay. and password for this all right okay suppose it is customized with all the modules wherein we can plan the company recruitment onboard learn develop perform reward all right. It has modules like recruitment and on onboarding, learning, performance and goals, compensation, succession and development. Then the core HR and payroll, which is known as employee center. All right. Okay. Mm. It has the business suits, like suppose similarly, as we see the, uh, we look at the Gmail application nowadays, Google is customizing mm. uh, business suit, right? Google suit. Yes. Yes, yes. So similarly, Success Factors is also giving a suit based operations. So, as per your needs, you can configure the system. Mm. Could, you can directly contact with the SAP company directly. And if you want, you can, as per the requirement, suppose if you are already using recruitment, uh, 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 the core HR is already being used as SAP platform. Mm. Now you want to use recruiting module in Success Factors, you can come. Uh, contact the success factors team they will give you the recruiting uh, part details all right okay similarly this platform is always engaging because 
the data is data sync between all these three devices like mobile laptop and your tablets it is always an on a sync like similarly we use gmail in a mobile and a laptop and a tablet it is always data is always in syncing right automatically so similarly success factors is also in sync suppose you want to configure the mobile success factors and go to admin center mm. from here you can click file enable mobile the mobile features Let it open up. Mm. Now here you can mobile specific. You can put in enable mobile policy notifications, or you can manage the mobile users. Okay. You can change the. You can change if you click on this. It's it gives you a pop up, right? Yeah. You want to enable the mobile manage setup or not? You can do it. Yeah. I see. Similar to similar to Gmail and similar to uh, Facebook, it works in a similar way. Okay. So you tell me now. You have any doubts or queries? Like, uh, so the, what is the major difference uh, between the success factor and you know SAP HCM? like i told you earlier uh, the sap uh, sap hcm is an on premise system so it needs okay. a, it needs coding it needs uh, it needs access to a technical team a backup server an sap abap team to manage all the details mm. this is sap hcm mm. yeah yeah if you go to recruitment you will have to mm. work like this you go to basic yeah. settings then mm. go to setup integrations mm. this is the component this is the way how it works okay so you need to learn the coding from here okay you need to learn the decision tree you can edit it mm -hmm. but you need to learn the coding right okay mm. unless and until you you remember these accesses how will okay. you work there work here yeah. mm. suppose you want to create position you go to create position mm. Mm. now you can have to new entries now manage mm. text mm. similarly it will work in success sectors if you want to hire anyone Simply type and add new employee. See the kind of configurations which we are doing so easily. Yes, yes. Success characters and is compared to the on-premise application. Yeah, yes, yes. Here you can put in the company details. Yeah. You can put in the event reason. It is new hire or additional job hired from affiliate and you fill up all the details the employee will be hired right okay yeah this is the major difference between both the applications okay it is uh, fully managed by sap itself you don't okay. have to need take you don't have to run a spare uh, different sap abap team or you mm -hmm. don't need sap technical functional consultant you mm -hmm. don't need techno functional consultant mm -hmm. it is always all is managed by sap you do you don't need a data management uh, software you mm -hmm. don't need a server management uh, solutions for managing success factors everything mm -hmm. is worked by such sap side okay you you even if you face any issues with the servers you simply mm -hmm. log in a ticket with sap and sap okay. will help you out with that right okay Okay. Okay.
it can be either SAP who will help you or the implementation partner mm -hmm. from where you have taken the uh, SAP implementation. Okay. Success, success factors implementation. I'm so sorry. Okay. Okay. So the modular can be deployed at your own pace. So we don't mm -hmm. uh, in success factors we don't need to wait uh, for any modules to get implemented. Suppose, mm -hmm. for example, if you are uh, an uh, CEO of, uh, say, Tata Consultancy Services, mm -hmm. and you feel that you are having issues in you inside the organizations and in learning, performance, and social collaborations, right? Okay. So success, mm -hmm. success factors can directly jump into learning, performance, and social collaborations. It doesn't require mm -hmm. a core HR or payroll because mm -hmm. in on-premise system. It will always start from core HR and then later on it will move to recruitment, learning, performance, and social collaboration. Okay. But in success factors, it, it will automatically start from the pain points. Mm -hmm. You can jump on to solutions with it, all right? You can move all your uh, current softwares to the cloud. You can leverage more than one to solve a bigger pain. Example, core HR and onboarding. For example, you don't need core HR, still you can contact success factors and they can help you with learning performance and social collaboration. All right. Mm. Mm. These are the basics, uh, the details which are being given for success factors. Uh, we don't need now, but these are the features which are being used. It drives the efficiency and global complement uh, because what happens is with these features, the employee can work efficiently inside the organization, right? He doesn't have to work for any technical team or app team to uh, interface uh, in the functionality of a functional consultant's role. So we okay. don't need any, any, we can directly manage the position, we can directly manage the time of management, and we can directly do the HR transactions and onboarding, all right? We okay. can also work mm -hmm. on reporting, compliance, and auditing without the help of any finance team also. All right. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it makes life easier. Similar. Okay. Simple in simpler, simple terms. If you are suppose working in an in an organization as an uh, SAP consultant, mm -hmm. and for example, you are working in SAP HCM consultant, right? Yeah. Uh, you will have to you will have to integrate the system uh, from scratch. Then only you will be able to work okay. work on that and start working on the current company's perform uh, uh, changing configurations. But if you are working for mm -hmm. success factors, you can directly start uh, from the pain points. Okay, it makes our lives easier as a consultant, right? You don't have to worry about other modules. Then you come back to success factors. You don't have to do that. See the employee's job information details, whom he is reporting, all details can be accessed from one tool. That is this. Suppose if you want to view this tool, employee details, you can view it. Yeah. That is the major advantage. I've yeah. shown you the organization chart. We can yes, view yes. all the details because what the bonuses we can terminate the employee. We can take action directly. Suppose if you want to take action from for this employee, this if you want to take and take action means we can terminate the employee. We can add a note and give a badge. Suppose if you want to give a badge to her, you can give a badge like team player. Okay. 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 And we can read it as you are a. All right. Mm. These are simple, simple. Uh, these are uh, if you are looking at this application like SAP on premise system, these configurations which we are doing so easily in success factors, it takes a lot of time here. We need to go to HR master data. We need to go to personal actions. Okay. And then we need to configure the system. But in success factors, these all high configurations can be done 
from that single instance. This is the benefit of success factors. Rest, don't worry about anything. We will have all the tools. We have all the uh, methods and the procedures in place to help you get onboarded in a good uh, job. Hello? 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 Hello. Yeah, are you able to hear? Okay. There might be some network issue, right? Hello. Yes, there might be some network issue, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So you let me know what all questions you have. Uh, as of now, no, it's, that is my question. It's okay. Uh, it's, uh, I understood what is SAP Cloud and how a success factor in, in interface works. Okay, okay. It's it's like uh, like uh, the app which we use in the phones and everything. Yeah, yeah. It has simple, simple, easy configurations. But if you look at the current uh, current job market right now, yeah. Let me show you current job trends. Mm, yeah. If you if you go to any job portals, suppose if you visit nokri.com. Okay. And if you go to jobs and if you want to search success factors and you want to give location, for example, Hyderabad. Mm. You see how many opportunities are there now? For yeah, success yeah, yeah. This is one of the trending modules which is in, in huge demand now. Mm. And uh, it will always be in demand. Mm. So, how, so how, would, uh, how would be the growth uh, once when the, when once when we join uh, into the success factor? So mm -hmm. how would be the growth like growth? Growth and uh, in, in, in means you are talking about the uh, hierarchy. Yeah, maybe career growth. Okay, okay, yeah, I'll just explain it to you in just a second. Yeah. Now, see, once you completed the course, okay, after. After the completion of course, you will be joined as a as a success factors consultant. All right. Yeah. Suppose you work there for three to four years. Okay. Your starting salary here will be. Salary will be seven to eight lakhs minimum. 
okay ctc which okay. can go up to which can go to 11 lakhs also okay. depends okay. upon your previous experiences all right and your knowledge of and your knowledge of success oh. factors okay because we also need to learn the uh, things right and yes, yes, if correct. company if, if a company asks us any question about success factors we should be able to answer it all right yes correct now, correct now this text next position will be solution architect hmm. once you are uh, once you have become a solution act architect your package mm. will start from 20 lakhs okay which can move to anything beyond it can minimum start from 15 lakhs and it can okay. be any, anything beyond it can be 35 also okay this will be ctc i am saying, saying only oh. there might be yeah, many yeah, other yeah. things you can also yeah, move yeah. to hr ms hr bp Mm. wherein you can become a partner with an IT company in which you will be providing the cloud solutions to other organizations okay mm. okay which means that you will be looking after all the negotiations okay with the other companies so this is also mm -hmm. a very big very big opportunity because normally the employee in management level can also get this access employee in okay. management level i am saying who is reporting directly to ceo or ceo mm -hmm. Who is a direct reporting to CEO or the owner? Mm -hmm. So, working with an owner of uh, this big firms like mm -hmm. IBM and uh, TCS, it itself is a very big thing to work do already. Yes, yes, right? yes, yes. It's a great opportunity. Yes, yes. So this is the career path. Apart from that, you can also do if, even if you don't want to work as a uh, success factor consultant and suppose for example if you don't want to work uh, in a job you can start up your yeah. own business all right you can start up your own yeah. business as an erp implementation company okay you need to be certified you need to be certified first okay with success factors okay and you can become an sap partner once you become an sap partner you can start up your own it company okay because banks and everyone will start giving you loans okay <clears throat> for finances because you are already an sap partner now the yeah. big, it might be a big company or small companies they will directly deal you contact you mm. to uh, mm. to implement the success factors or maybe any sap software in their organization okay. as per the department okay. you will understand the need okay. of the business and you will give them solutions mm. okay. so okay. it will be you will become a solution partner mm. <clears throat> So in broader terms, if you broader terms, if you look, then it gives you a career. Yeah. All right. You don't have to hop in for jobs or move, change domains and uh, to work on. It gives you a mm. full-time career which you can pursue. Mm. Even if you are not yeah. working in an organization, you can start your own business implementation partner company. Even if you don't mm. want to start a business, you can work as a freelancer. Yes, yes. 
you can work as a freelance corporate trainer all right that you don't need yeah. any investment you can directly work uh, at your own will and you can directly start uh, training the corporates employees so there are many avenues apart from these these three avenues there are many other avenues don't worry about okay. it okay you already get a field right you get a broader if you look at a broader terms it is a full time career wherein you don't yeah, have yeah. to worry about earning money yes yes yeah. you just need to focus on the uh, you just need to concentrate on the learning first once you yes, concentrate yes. on the learning once you get your basics right you will be mm. able to grow grow like anything right yeah okay mm. not only in it companies you can move to any 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 industry if you are looking at agriculture industry nowadays if you are looking at uh, space and aeronautics if you move, even if you look at coal mining sap is mm. there also every okay. business has been run by sap so not mm. only in it it is it is like it was a starting point of sap when the sap started their implementation from it companies right oh yeah now yes. even if if you move to banks and financial institutions sap is managing their business everywhere yes, sap yes. is managing their business all right yeah hmm all right yeah so that is about it today you if yeah. you have any questions please ask me uh how long uh, does it take like how much experience we need to get to, to certified as an sap you don't need any experience you just need knowledge <laughs> okay <laughs> because okay. Uh, in success factors uh, they they have uh, they have uh, made the uh, certifications process uh, much easier if you compare to okay. the on premise software they have module mm. specific certifications suppose if you need mm -hmm. to uh, get certified in core hr you can apply for certification mm -hmm. in employee central all right okay mm -hmm. the uh, you we will we can help you with the dumps dumps are mm -hmm. the questions which are popularly okay. asked in the success factor certification exam and you can okay. clear the certification you get 6 to 7 attempts 6 mm -hmm. attempts to clear this okay. okay suppose you okay. if you if you paid the fees today and if you want mm. to get certified so from august starting from august you get 6 months to 7 7 attempts in a year okay okay for so one full year you get 7 attempts to clear that okay mm. okay so you don't need any experience nobody will ask you any experience it it's about your knowledge your uh, basics functionality which you learned even if you if you mm. have doesn't if you if you don't have any experience it's, it doesn't matter you you need to okay. get understand the knowledge you need to have the knowledge okay. and we can okay. help you with your cv management we will mm -hmm. put your resume place your resume in such a way that you will get start getting the uh, job opportunities all right okay right yeah anything else no no nothing okay all right then uh, dipali uh, so should i end the session now okay just give me one minute all right hello yeah hello yes dipali uh, yes yes anushtu yes anushtu so the session is over now <laughs>